Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. My name is Neil Dwyer. I'm the Vice President of Operations for Six Flags Kadia. So, gathered here for something exciting, right? I wonder what's under here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to Intamin for hosting this, uh, this important reveal that you're uh, going to see very shortly. And thank you to IAPA, who give us the opportunity to come together every year to celebrate our achievement. So a big thank you to both IAPA and Intamin. Six Flags Kadia is a global destination of entertainment, sport and culture being built just outside Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. I truly believe it's one of the most exciting projects in the world today. Um, when we talk about theme parks, there's nowhere I'm more excited to be. I might be biased. Six Flags Kadir will be 320,000 square kilometers. That's the equivalent of 50 soccer pitches. They made me say that, the real name is football. But it will be Six Flags' first, <laughs> first property outside North America. 28 unique rides spread over six creatively themed lands. It's going to offer safe, family-friendly experiences that's just a short drive from Saudi's capital, Riyadh. Six Flags Kadir is essential in meeting Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 goals. We're fastly becoming the world's newest tourist hotspot. We have a lot of rides, a lot of important attractions, and we're really, really excited to bring those 28 important attractions. But the jewel in the crown is the gravity-defying, record-busting, heart-pumping, world-class roller coaster named Falcon's Flight. This roller coaster... Okay, if we're gonna cheer, let's have a louder cheer. This roller coaster will be the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster in the world and we've talked about that for quite a long time it will also feature the biggest drop of any roller coaster in the world the ride the theme the story the train is inspired by saudi's history and tradition of falconry the exa coaster which is the official categorization more than 600 feet exa coaster will climb 195 meters up the cliff face. It will reach speeds in excess of 250 kilometers an hour. That's the takeoff speed of a commercial aeroplane. At over 4,300 meters, it's gonna be twice the length of Paris's Champs-Élysées. So why this coaster? Well, the brief was to break all records. We wanted to go out there and do something completely off the chart and I think that's what you see being built in Six Flags Kadir and what you will see here today. We're proud to partner with Intamin. It's been a, uh, a reasonably long journey. This process started in 2018 of concept engineering, managing track layout, forces, optimization, which we're going to talk about a little bit more. We've worked in close coordination with a talented team of designers, engineers, park specialists from Intamin, Kadia, and Six Flags Entertainment in the US. The ride will feature a dual station. Capacity is important to us. We know this ride will be popular today, just as I can see it's popular uh, on, the, on the show floor. There will be six trains, each featuring the ability to seat 14 passengers, so a dual station, important to us to be able to optimize capacity, which is very important. We're conscious of operating this ride in Saudi's climate, and that's been a challenge that we've been excited to uh, work with Intamin to develop. Of course, it's a, uh, it's a hot climate in summer. You'll hear a little bit more about the cooling systems that we're putting in place to keep the train wheels cool and to manage the ride. Everything has been extensively tested whether that's the wheel temperature, the optimized windscreen, the spoilers. We look carefully at the aerodynamics, and I'm pleased to say you will be able to ride this coaster without safety goggles. Safety remains our number one priority. 
The ride is engineered under the European standards together with Intamin, TUV Sud, and the guidance from the Saudi authorities, the General Entertainment Authority, and SASO. Do you want me to do another half an hour or should we have a look what's under the sheet? Okay, I can do it. I, I can be here all day, haven't I? It's an incredibly uh, proud moment for me, but let us start with a countdown. 100. No. <laughs> let's start from five. Join in with me, guys. Let's make some noise. This is about entertainment and the most exciting reveal that's happened recently in park history. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you everybody, a truly beautiful train design and a truly beautiful piece of engineering. And let me hand over to Daniel Chopin from Intamin to tell you more about the technical details of the ride. Thank you so much for joining us here today everybody. Hello, I'm Daniel Chopin, Vice President Design and Development of Intamin. And uh, yeah, we are super proud of this beauty of train. Falcon's Flight is the roller coaster evolution of the century. Located at Six Flags Kidia, it uses the natural landscape of the desert and an impressive high natural cliff. The riders will board the train, which is properly dimensioned to experience the cost of coastal forces and the climate of the desert and it's a huge vehicle. The front car is sculpted as a falcon's head and has a seating capacity of two passengers. The remaining cars have four passengers, a uh, four passenger configuration and an open design to enhance the guest experience in speed and sense of flying over the cliff edge and the entire park. Talking about the layout, we already heard some facts. So with a bit more than 13,000 feet, the steel track crosses the Six Flags Kidia Park towards an over 600 feet high cliff wall. It even launches with a speed of approximate 100 miles per hour to the top of the cliff. There it's resting a bit, cresting a bit like a falcon over the cliff edge, and then comes the big finale. Since from here, the train finally drops vertically down, reaching a top speed of 156 miles per hour with the support of a magnetic launch system featuring linear synchronous motors, the so-called LSM motors. Falcon's flight features three launches, one faster than the other. More than 600 of those LSM motor modules with water cooling will be used to accelerate the trains. The total amount of numbers, just to give you an understanding, is six times the number of motors used for VelociCoaster. Six trains simultaneously in operation will guarantee a high capacity per hour to enjoy the ride of a lifetime. Each train features four cars, in total 14 seats instant capacity. But let's focus on some interesting facts of the train. The Falcon's Flight Trains uses the uh, next generation LSM motors and the, the next generation LSM vehicles which are fully machined with no welds to maximize maintenance comfort. A curved windshield allows the passengers to enjoy the ride without goggles. The chassis are equipped with extra large running wheels of more than 16 inch in diameter and the custom-designed rims are enhancing the cooling, the cooling due to the speed and high ambient temperatures. And it has a very appealing appearance. In the dark, 
each train features 35 light modules individually controllable. And on top, the Falcon awaits the riders with its mysterious glowing eyes any time or every time you board the train. Falcon Flight's technical features exceeds any characteristics realized so far in the coaster world. With 640 feet height difference, it will be nearly 200 feet higher than King Dakar, the record holder so far at Six Flags uh, Great Adventure. With 156 miles per hour, it will be seven miles per hour faster than Formula Rossa at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. And with exactly 13,123 13, feet, it is nearly one and a half times longer than the current record holder, Steel Dragon 2000 in Nagashima Spa Land, Japan. Falcon's flight will be a game changer and the Intermin team is very proud to be part of this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Mew, for the kind words as well. Um, I'm just going to finish up with some final words. I'm Lukas Bildiner. I'm part of the third generation family ownership of Intamin. Um, as Neil said before, talks for this project started somewhere in 2017, 2018, around there. And I think we've come a very long way since then, as all you can see. Um, it's surreal to actually have this vehicle here and see it come to life. Even seeing the pictures from the job site is just every time mesmerizing in some ways. And we at Intamin have always been pushing the boundaries. It's been in our DNA since decades, in my family's DNA. But it always needed a trusted and willing partner to make this become reality. And we just wanted to extend a huge thank you to Kidia for being this, to placing the trust into us, for being that partner, and that we found a trusted partner in them for this great collaboration. So thank you very much for everything, for all of us in management, ownership, and everyone at Intamin for making this become reality and making history. So all looking forward to take a ride, I guess. Thank you very much.